one all day. I just saw Tamika Upton warming up her vocal cords. If you keep an eye out on her, such a star player, but particularly at fullback, she just doesn't stop working. She works off the ball as a support player and she's just constantly making sure that her teammates are in the right place, leading from the back. We are underway, top of the table, NRLW action for you on Nines Wide World of Sports this afternoon. By Hill Moana with the opening hit up. Koenig, 10 short of halfway. The Roosters, they just waste no time at all getting into their rhythm. Keely Joseph playing the ball. Now Keely Davis with a run out of dummy half. What about this for an opening set from the Roosters? Kelleher. Hill Moana. Anna Southwell, one of the defenders for the Knights. Davis. Last play. Kelleher with a high tester. Shielding her eyes from the sun was Tamika Upton. Took it beautifully. Brilliant start to the game for the Roosters. You hit it on the head there, Salty. They just get straight into their work. No settling. No, just punch one up and we'll take it easy. They just get straight into run shape every single play. The Knights now, their turn to come out of their own ends. What about this defence? They can't get beyond their 20 pretty they much. can't make a metre. Strange playing it. Now Southwell. This is Albert Jones. Last play. They're on their 30 here, the Knights. Jesse Southwell gets a kick downfield. It's not a bad one in the end. Baxter. And the Roosters on tackle one will be playing the ball a metre short of halfway. Yeah, it's a hard kick to pull the trigger on there. Jesse Southwell scoots down a short edge and is trying to look to gain metres. But because it's diffused so well by Corbin Baxter, tackle two, they're already into good ball. Hill Moana. Tackle by Roach down low. Southwell over the top. Kelleher, Upton, Jesse Southwell it is there making the tackle. Taryn Aiken just lost their, her footing there. Baxter. Last play for the Roosters. Aiken, cross field kick. That's a good take from Abigail Roach. Have a look at this Roosters driving defence now again on the Knights. Strange, forced back. Just look at the line speed as well. It's a big 10. And they just get up as a unit. Their initial contact is pretty good. And even on that one, they just let them scoot out and just stay on the inside, continue to push them out of shape. Albert Jones reaches the 20. She's put down. That's tackle four. Strong run from Predabon. Contact on Taylor Predabon as well. Southwell, this kick sits up very nicely for Kelleher. Gives it straight away to Mia Wood. Well, they're setting their game plan up the Roosters off the back of their defence. Two kicks. Two sets in a row, they've been forced Jesse Southwell to kick from around that 30 metre mark. And already, for the second play the ball, they're almost in the same spot. This is, this is brilliant footy, great effort areas. Joseph put on her back. And a penalty. They tap and go. Davis, Keely Davis gets to within 10 of the line. Knights on the back foot early, it's all the Roosters. Hill Moana, Kelleher, Kelleher, and that pass out in front is knocked on by Jamie Frezard playing in the centres. In the middle. I saw Kelleher just looking for which option to take there. I thought potentially the one out the back was the highest percentage. 
It's always a difficult pass to take in traffic and the, the defence was collapsing in there and Baxter put herself in a good position. But the Knights hold on. They have been under the pump to start this game. Get your heads down. All right, clock off, feed in. Break! Knights coming out of their own end. Tamika Upton. Well, they get to the 20 on tackle one. The past two sets of six, that's been on tackle three or four. This is better from the Knights. Abigail Roach playing the ball. Let's take his sideline. Marley still with the best seat in the house on this Saturday afternoon. Yes, I certainly do have the best seat in the house for what I'm sure is going to be the best game of this round. It has warmed up a little bit since the first game we saw here at McDonald Jones Stadium. It's sitting at 19 degrees, but that wind is quite cool. And the breeze has picked up too. So it's a northwesterly coming from behind the Roosters. And I have to say the crowd that's grown quite a bit here for the Knights is uh, very passionate and has already been booing the Roosters. So they're coming up against it when it comes to the home crowd. Well, they'll need the support of the team, of the, of the crowd rather, the home team. Bridie Parker playing the ball. Kelly, the captain. The backs getting a touch for the Roosters. Frezard playing it. Grace Hamilton. Starting the game with no Millie Boyle. Taryn Aiken. Kick right into the sun. Tamika Upton. Perfectly positioned again. She's so fearless. She's fearless out of the backfield when she takes that and then you just see her accelerate into contact. through Jasmine Strange playing the ball. Now, Roach goes to Clydesdale. Eight former Roosters in this Knights team. Higgins, that was one of them on a dummy half. Now, Roach putting a kick up. Oh, and that would be a penalty. Yep, it will be a penalty to the Knights. Well, here's a little momentum changer. Yeah, they were never going to be able to keep up that line speed for the whole game. And the Knights, they just had a little bit more ascendancy, better field position. Roach put up a good kick. And this is a great chance to attack the line for the Knights. Predabon. Driven back, another one of the former Roosters, Taylor Predabon, playing the ball, nine away from the line. Higgins, Southwell, Tamika Upton. Nice bit of footwork. The Roosters hold on. Joseph and Aiken making the tackle. Higgins goes to Caitlin Johnston and will take a bow of the Roosters' defence. They forced an error. Oh, they spied the threat early. And this, Liv Higgins does this very well. She can get out, she can bring her forwards onto the ball, but they spotted up Caitlin Johnston coming a mile away. And normally when we see the Knights in this position, they have a nice little ruck play on the try line and that's what catches the defence unawares. But this time it was just a one-up one up run. Good work from Keely Davis there in defence. In break! Fressard. Tackled by Clydesdale. And Southwell. Koenig. Fighting in the tackle. Kelly. It's like we saw in the previous game. It's just shaping up to be a really good contest at the opening minutes or anything to go by. Although this penalty... So the Roosters will help their cause. Side up. It was Knight. Caitlin Johnston sold him. Mm. He came in to try and dominate that contact. Crept up high on Hill Moana. Well, the Knights did well 
withstanding the early onslaught from the Roosters. Now they're going to be on the back foot again. Way to the top. Way, Georgia. Georgia, Yasmin, Yasmin. Go. Get up there, Get up there. Come on, come on. Hill Moana. Tackled by Johnston and Southwell. Joseph. Lost it. Mistake from the Roosters. Yeah, just oh, lost her foot there. Lost the, lost the ball as a result, but they got lucky there. Caitlin Johnson with back-to-back -back errors. That drop ball on a line and the high tackle. But they were able to stop the Roosters this time. I'll tell you when, George. All right, heads down for us. All right, clock off feed. In. Lights with the scrum feed. Tamika Upton. Yeah, they've knocked it on here, the Knights. Well, she's so dangerous from a set piece like that. And this one in particular, her outside backs just hadn't given enough, enough depth for this pass to go to hand. Yeah. Yeah. You've just got to expect those last minute things from her because she can create. Oh, and I think it's also touched a little bit by the Roosters, which really helps propel it towards the ground. Right, so more pressure here for the Knights to soak up the Roosters. They love for scrum at this part of the field. Now Davis goes to Wood. Mia Wood, four tries in her first two career games in NRLW. Bill Moana, tackle just outside the 20. Higgins, one of the defenders for the Knights. Kelleher, there's a good run. Tessa Pule, good tackle too by Johnston. Davis cuts out Hamilton, goes to Aiken, and now there's the mistake. Gallagher, Gallagher's got it. Look out, Sheridan Gallagher. Tackled here by Kelly. Good rushing defence on the right there by the Knights. Getting up in the face, forcing the error from the Roosters. They were starting to look really dangerous then, the tricolours. Goes Sharon and Gallagher again. It's a good pick up for them this year. Gallagher for the Knights. Leading the NRLW in the season for line breaks. Mm. Yasmin Clydesdale playing it. Johnston. Higgins to dummy half. Jesse Southwell, a fourth tackle kick. Baxter does well. Safe as houses, Corbin Baxter. And she gets Wait aside on. a penalty. Inside the 10 on the kick chase. Well, that's a few errors now from Caitlin Johnston. Oh, Two move, penalties. She had that drop ball on the line. Such an important player for the Knights, yes, particularly in the middle of the field. A wonderful player, but she needs to clean her game up. Jamie Frezard playing the ball for the Roosters. And some stingy defence that time. Albert Jones on Isabel Kelly. Well, she stopped there at Tessa Pula. It would have been a penalty had she continued to move forward. They got that one wrong, the Roosters. Joseph tackled by Johnston. Now Kelleher kicks into the corner. It sits up for Strange. The chase. And that is a terrific chase, isn't it? Olivia Koenig. Well, it was a fourth tackle kick as well, so they kicked a little bit early. The winger and the fullback were in decent position for the Knights, but the chase of Olivia Koenig made that spectacular. Which team will be the first to crack? Jamie Frazard. I love it. She is full <laughs> of energy She's and passion, people. that girl. <laughs> Southwell on the last, kicking from inside the 40. That's a good kick. Backstop. And Jesse Southwell along with 
Lacey Elba Jones leading the way. Oh, Hannah. Oh, great <laughs> tackle. Yes. A Southwell special. I'm so glad that she's back fit and playing footy. Her defence is spectacular. Kelly playing it for the Roosters. Hamilton now. Good run from Hamilton. Two tackles left in this set for the Roosters. Aiken, lovely ball. Isabel Kelly gets away from Gallagher. No, Gallagher hung on. It didn't pay off, but that was a great ball from Taryn Aiken. She either needed to hold it then. She saw that the defence was up. Found her centre. Terrific take from Jasmine Strange. What a close game. It looked like after the first couple of minutes we were going to be the Roosters by how many, but the Knights have steadied the ship and the, the last 10 minutes or so have been very even, but here's a penalty. So good. They've earned this penalty. Some really good runs. I think it was Gallagher on one side, then coming back this way, Roach. And Jessie Southwell, she'll take a nice chunk off this, get them straight into some good ball position, and try and find Tamika Upton to exploit a disconnect in the middle for the Roosters. Clydesdale. 39 away from the Roosters line, the Knights. Great way to start off this set. Romanak playing the ball. Jesse Southwell to Albert Jones. Nation Albert Jones. Pull A with a good tackle down low. Southwell to Johnston. Good tackle. The two Keeleys in there. Joseph and Davis. Ten away from the line. Roach to Romanak. Last play, Knights. Through the hands. Tamika oh, Upton with a kick. kick. Oh, Corbin Baxter there to save the day. Well, we saw how brilliant she is under the high ball. But the way she just spotted that and attacked that football on her own try line was fantastic. This replay will show it beautifully. A lovely kick by Upton, but look at Corbin Baxter. Geez, that's good. And then off the back of it, the Knights defence now are really aiming up. Oh, that is a front foot for you. Roosters coming out of their own ends. Mia Woods playing the ball in her own 30. Hopawate. Ten short of halfway. Kick from Callagher inside the 40 and it's just going to miss out on... Oh, it's out of the ball anyway. Well, that kick pressure from the Newcastle Knights, that was a really big defensive set of six. They're coming up against the Roosters, which are the best attacking side in the NRLW competition. And Caitlin Johnson coming up. A huge effort from the big front rower to put that pressure on the opposition half, Kelleher. That was a huge play. Romanak. Tackle by Pullet. Higgins to Southwell. Finds a pass to Parker. And Parker oh. driven back by some strong defence. Johnston. 13 away from the Roosters line. Higgins to Southwell. Short to Albert Jones. She'll almost get there. Well, Paulette had hold of her boot. If she didn't, momentum probably would have gone into the line. Here's a pass, Gallagher, oh, well read. That's a great tackle by Parker. Last play. Upton to Southwell. Oh, oh that's great pressure. Look out. Hold on. Yeah, you don't, but you don't wrap the ball, you don't wrap your arms. You're not making a genuine tackle. Ooh. She's saying it's a shoulder charge. Shoulder is she? charge. Hey, Jesse, just give us a second to blow the whistle, mate. I thought she put her hands out him. Let me move. Hold okay. 
Was that Pete Rooster? Yeah, she uses the, the upper shoulder. Jeez, it was good pressure, though. good line speed. Well, she took about seven seconds too long to make that kick, Jesse Southwell. She needs to execute that a lot quicker. Knights on the front foot. Hannah Southwell. Good tackle by Joseph. Now Johnson fighting to get to the line. A metre away. Higgins, Upton, short ball. Oh, what a tackle. Just when it looked like Clydesdale was going to get to the line. Joseph again with another try saver. Higgins from dummy half will get over, but I don't think she can get it down. No, held up. Olivia, just wait. Just what about wait. the scramble and intensity here? Goal line okay, defence. Okay, time on. Go, last. It's top shelf. It's the last. It's the last. Caitlin Johnson better know that it's last the last, and that's well, a changeover. Well, that was silly because Jesse oh. Southwell was yeah. so far away yeah, from the dummy half there. Particularly with Higgins, their hooker, playing the ball after she was held up. She needed to be closer. They didn't have their genuine hooker in there to throw that long ball. Jesse, let go. Papawati, good tackle. Hannah Southwell again. Romanak over the top. Hamilton. Johnston and Higgins in the tackle. Davis to Kelleher. Baxter to Wood and Strange with the tackle. Nice one, one on one. Under pressure, Kelleher gets a pretty decent kick away. Gallagher takes it. Stand square. Oh, the line. Front foot here. Front foot here. Go, one. Got to hold, Jamie. Like a game of chess. Who's going to blink first? Sheridan Gallagher again coming in for a run. Oh. Righty Parker with a good tackle. turning into a good battle. The wingers on that far side of the field. Elba Jones to Ramanak. Ramanak playing it. Knights inside Roosters territory. Roach just holding it up, waiting for Tamika up the new arrive, and uh, it's knocked on by Abigail Roach. Yeah, needed to go straight to the wing then. Tamika Upton, she was looking really dangerous because she got nice early ball out on that left edge from Roach. Look at this time and space that Tamika Upton has, but just needed to stay out of it because Jasmine Strange had a fair bit of space to play with then. She couldn't help herself, could she, Abigail Roach? Was was like, coming too close, and she thought, I just have to. Like a child with the cookies just coming out of the oven, you know, just like, can I, can I have one, Mum? Can I have one? And I should have, I should have, I am, I did it. Uh -oh. You had a few to try to beat to get to the oven too, Rue. Me? I was the eldest, mate. It's full rank. <laughs> Clydesdale, oh, one-on-one oh, one oh, steal, oh, is it? From Johnston, I think she got ball. it, she, she does. Oh, that was huge play. <laughs> what a play from Caitlin Johnston. And a New South Wales teammate there, she knows that when Liv Koenig runs, she can move that ball around. She's a little bit loose with her carry and she came up with a great steal. And that's if you're not allowed the cookies, you just take one anyway. <laughs> I was the one cooking them, so I always knew when they were about to come out of the oven. Roach. <laughs> Cannot afford to take your eyes off this contest. Higgins to Romanak. Asakala in the tackle. Higgins to Southwell into Upton. Hang on, look out. Upton, oh, what a play. It. The get rubber kick, the regather, the it. try. What a play. Try the year. Oh, that was outstanding from the Newcastle Knights. Jesse Southwell and Tamika Upton. What a dangerous combination to get the footy in their hands and to be working so well together in sync.
We'll get to have another look and enjoy this one because this was some classy footy on the Harvey Norman replay. Tamika Upton just sets up on the inside of Jessie Southwell and saw the opportunity. She nailed the grubber. It popped up at the perfect time. And then there's that speed and that movement, that sideways movement. She's so smooth. Tamika Upton. 15 career tries, third of the season. Averages 215 run metres every game as well. That's second, by the way, behind Tegan Berry. Competition overall. Jesse Southwell. Misses. Knights, first team to score. <laughs> Leading the Roosters by four points to nil. Superstar fullback, Tamika Upton, setting McDonald Jones Stadium alight. What I loved about that play as well, throughout the start of this game, she's been jumping in at first receiver. But that one on the last, she sits in the rail, which is just inside that first receiver. And wonderful, <laughs> wonderful individual skill to come up with points. Now, for the very first time, the NRL is heading to Vegas. Join us as Australia's most exciting sport is unleashed in the sports and entertainment capital. Rugby League unleashed in Las Vegas. Tickets are on sale now. Visit nrl.com slash Vegas. Are you getting less excited about this as the day goes on? Because you actually got your words all out then, Salty. Yeah, I, <laughs> I actually wasn't told to read that then. I just, just wanted memory. to do it again. <laughs> memory. Like, I, I've got this. Keep mentioning it, nrl.com slash Vegas. Now Roach puts a kick up. Is a contest, oh, hang on, that could well penalty. be a penalty. Yeah, yeah, Strange taking out Wood before she had a chance to take the ball. Yeah, that's a fair penalty. She was screaming down this left edge on that kick chase, but she wasn't looking at the footy. She was just mistimed that contact. It's a good leg up here for the Roosters. With me, here goes, here goes. 27 minutes gone, eight minutes left in the half. Koenig. Good defence by opposite number, Clydesdale. Former Roosters teammates. Fatuma Wala. Her first touch of the football. Davis to Kelleher. Taryn Aiken couldn't find Corbin Baxter. Yeah, Jesse Southwell's done a good job on Taryn Aiken so far. She's really moving up fast and taking her time and space, which means those options either side, they're going to be on. Pull it on tackle four. Davis. Aiken, short ball. Pasakala it is. In a quick play the ball as well by the interchange forward. Here come the Roosters. A grubber kick off legs of Higgins. She took her time, didn't panic, picked up the ball. That's a really good trap and scrap by Liv Higgins. Was, Davis was playing on the front foot. Great play the ball by Pasakala. And she came up with that right option there. But still, not a bad place to finish. This is still hard work for the Knights to get out of this area. Forward. 
More forward pass out of dummy half. Southwell to Strange. Oh, she's with a trainer. That was a shocker. Yeah, yeah. We'll wait. Uh, where do you want your scrum? There's someone down in back play for the night. Sorry, Alana. On the scrum line? I think. Oh, she's on now? Liv Higgins. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, I think she scrum. might be having a spell. She was very slow to her feet after that trap and scrap. A scrum feed coming for the Roosters. It looks like okay, Higgins OK it. to stay on the field. All right, feed it. Wait for the break. In, break. Isabel Kelly feeds the scrum. Davis on the bounce. They better hurry up and get on to that one. Baxter's got it for the Roosters. Kelleher. Now Hopawati. Five and a half left before the break. They love a try here, the Roosters. Oh, Pasakala, what about the contact from Romanak? You heard that one at home. Felt that one. Taryn Aiken. Two tackles left in the set. Pull there. Playing in the middle now for the Roosters. Quick play the ball. Dave, oh, they put it down. And the Knights will get a scrum feed. More good defence by the Knights on their line. You know, to start the game, the, the Roosters were really sort of punching through them and finding some space, but they've warmed into their task here, and the Knights' goal line defence has been very, very good. Roach. It's Abigail Roach, taken by Frezard, then Wood. Parker. Chance for an offload. Oh, held. The call Captain. of held had come just as Shanice Parker got the offload away, so she plays the ball. Predabon. Pull there, one of the defenders, along with Hopawati. Yeah. Oh, Southwell just lost her footing there. Pasakala in the tackle with Kelly. Maynard on the field for the Knights. Davison as well. Southwell. Puts that one. By now. The Roosters have got it. Sheridan Gallagher might have got a first touch, but it went straight into the hands there of Baxter. Yeah, she did. That's why that was a zero tackle. This will be tackle one. Probably needed to sit that one a little deeper, Jesse Southwell, just to try and make the edge turn and chase. Woods. Ooh, attempted strip. And Predabon, has she got it? It's a no, penalty. It was, it was Rooster's ball. I told you to release her. It was Rooster's ball. And I called you to release her. There's the explanation from Casey Badger. Are you going to tap? Wait, Keely. So they're going to tap and go here, the Roosters, from the halfway line. Hopawati. Davis. Kelleher inside to Fotu Mawala. Davis the dummy half. Love a try late in the half here. The Roosters, Pasakala, Maynard and Albert Jones in the tackle. Fatumawala. Another strong carry. Davis and Romanak doing well. They're five away. Aiken, Kelly, Davis, Hopawati for the line. They're going to hold her up. That defense again from the Knights. They've seen that set play before. Isabel Kelly coming back against the grain. Do you want a marker? Just wait. Are you getting a marker or not? 
Yeah, they just keep turning up in numbers, yep. the Knights. We've just got a HIA. We're just going to wait for you to get a replacement. It'll be last tackle, Roosters. So I think that's we'll Hasakala coming from the field for an HIA. Mm. Um, Taylor, not deep. You've got to push up. Keely Joseph okay, mate, returning sorry, to the action. Can't be in front of her, okay? Wait, wait, no. <laughs> wait for me to tell you. We've got to be set. All right. All right, let's go. All right, time on, last tackle. Go. All right, last play. <laughs> Kelleher, nice ball. Oh, that's an oh, even better ball. Legs. Baxter, <laughs> got it. <laughs> Corbin Baxter, razzle dazzle from the Roosters. All the passes stuck and they do score a try late and a half. Well, considering it was such broken play in the lead up, they had the stoppage, they had to wait and they had to just sort of pull back and set things up. On the last, I thought, you're hitting the front runner here, but this is what Olivia Kernick can do. And the Harvey Norman replay shows it beautifully. She's got such long levers. She can hit contact and she can get the arms free. And if you push around the ball, you'll usually come up with some gold off the back of it. And this one, this is gold. Look at this. Corbin Baxter, she does well to hang on to that one. And then to ground the ball in goal. They hit back. They sure do. Corbin Baxter. How important the try is late and a half. And we see it so often, particularly from this team, the Roosters. We do. We saw it in the previous game as well. The Tigers scored just before half time, mm. keep themselves in the hunt. <laughs> Jocelyn Kelleher, seven from eight last week, been in terrific form, 56 points for the season. The commentator's curse strikes. Corbin Baxter with the try. We're all locked up at four points all. And they'll have one play before the break. Taryn Aiken gets a pass away. And that will be half time. What a half of football. One try apiece. We expected a good one. That's exactly what we're getting. The two top of the table teams in NRLW delivering. At half time, it's the Knights and the Roosters, all locked up at four points all. Thank you, Emma. What a game so far. What an afternoon it's been for us on Nines Wide World of Sports. And we are underway for the second half. Nothing separating these two powerful, classy, top of the table teams. Knights and the Roosters all locked up at four points all. Oh, Fatu Mawala says not on my watch. You know her nickname's the jukebox, right? All so the hits. hits just keep on coming. You know, she broke my collarbone and did my shoulder in one tackle once. Oh, was it? Yeah. Was that her? That was her. Jeez, Cartilage torn off the bone, broke my collarbone. No, no, Dal. It was a ripper. Is she sympathetic? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been if I was her, so it's all good. Play on. Oh, yes! <laughs> and again! And for track number two. Love oh. the energy she started this half with. Oh, good chase. Oh, offside. Keely, you're offside. <laughs> well, that's a big play because the Roosters would have got onto the ball. I mean, big play, the penalty. Mm. Keely. She's saying she didn't hear it. Oh, I did. I did. Are you going to tap? Let me move. Wait, wait. Well, referee saying that she called her out and she couldn't hear her. She's started with such dominant physicality, the Roosters. Albert Jones. Bring the ball to Maynard. Short to Davison. Oh. Well, there's a mistake. I was saying, oh my goodness, to 
the replay those tackles. I love that. Oh, to Malala. I love big hits. What a run. Isabel Kelly. That's a great run from Isabel Kelly. The recognition of where to target as well, just finding that space in and behind the ruck. Aiken. Kelly. Good tackle, Parker. Aiken the dummy half. Kelleher. Now, Casey Badger clears the contacts. Tamika Upton has it for the Newcastle Knights. She's driven back with some strong defence. Where's number 18 for the Roosters? Maybe we should get a jukebox cam. Just get a camera that follows her around. Just record all the hits. Strange. Fresad in the tackle, along with Wood. Clydesdale. Nice bit of footwork as you got to the line there. Helped herself to an extra three or four metres. Reaches the halfway line. Now Maynard. Took off out of dummy half, then round sideways when she saw Fodu Mawala in front of it. Southwell. Plenty of time to put that kick. Backstar. Tackled outside of 20. Down to you, Marley. We saw Otessa Pule come off for a head injury assessment just before half time. The good news is it was a category two and she's passed, so she's able to rejoin the match. And also, something interesting that has happened since half time is John Strange, the coach of the Roosters, is now down on the sideline behind the bench. We have seen him do this before earlier in the season. He likes to get quite hands on when things are looking tight like this, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays a part of the second half. Sure will. Kelly playing it. Last play for the Roosters. Aiken the Kelleher. Jocelyn Kelleher says, let's put it high. It's not a bad kick. And Jasmine Strange does well. Look at that chase from the Roosters. Yeah, they've started this half with plenty of energy, the Roosters. And John Strange, I like coaches being on the side and I like coaching on the side and you get a better feel as there's a penalty here. Funny. A Get a better feel for the way the game's going, a feel for the way the players are, who needs the energy. Get quicker eyes on your messages. You won't be happy with this penalty, though, because they've been building some really good pressure. Albert Jones. Maynard, Predabon, good run from Taylor Predabon, but then she's put on her back. Maynard, Romanak to Tamika Upton, short ball, beautiful yes. ball, Clydesdale has Tamika oh, yes. Upton on her inside, and she's in for a double. What? Tamika Upton, what a try, the Knights hit the front. What can't she do? Tamika Upton sets really deep here on this play on the left edge. And she knows that it's her responsibility to ball play. No one other than Clydesdale. She runs a lovely little line, just sneaks through that gap. And they both have pace between them, but that support play through the middle, that was all Tamika Upton. She saw that opportunity. She said to the back rower, hey, listen, come with me. Run that line I know you can run, and I'll be back on your inside. Tamika Upton with a try for the Knights.
Jesse Southwell looking to convert. And she does. Ten points to four, the Knights in front of the Roosters. Tamika Upton playing a big role in the lead-up work to a try. Yasmin Clydesdale, what a run. And Upton finished it. She has both of the Knights' tries. Deanna Davison, strong off the bench. For the Knights, Roach goes to dummy half. Here's Clydesdale again. Fatsu Mawala gets on her back. Yeah, just thinking about this try, look, look at this head-on view. We're going to see it in a little box here in this right corner. That line running is what we're talking about. It's just about understanding space. You know if you run inside, outside shoulder of a defender, you force them to make a decision and you give yourself plenty of options. And that's why she's so good on her feet. What about that? Isabel Kelly on Jesse Southwell, and that's hurt the Knights number seven. It was very hard, and in combination to the tackle and hitting the turf has rocked the, the Knights' young half. Yeah, I think it's just the weight of both players landing on her. That's just big contact. She's got no win left in her. No. It's gone. She'll bounce back though, Jesse. Now, family tickets are on sale for the 2023 NRLW and NRL Telstra Premiership Grand Final with two games of rugby league pre-game entertainment and fun precinct activities. This will be an event for the whole family. Create real memories with Grand Final fun. Family tickets are available from nrl.com slash tickets. Shown here for Jesse Southwell. There's the weight of the defender, and then she's also holding onto the ball, too. So that just really drives the wind out of you, and that's when your rib cartilage really starts to tickle. Here's another look at that tackle. Nothing illegal about it, just rock solid defense. I think she lands on that weird angle on her side as well, so everything just compresses. She's a tough young player, Jessie. Now she's up, getting a bit more air back into the lungs now. Jessie Southwell. Push up tighter for me, push up a bit tighter, thank you. And it's play on for the Knights. There's one tough cookie, Jesse Southwell, playing the ball to Maynard. Is Predabon. Last play coming up for the Knights. Once they eventually stop Taylor Predabon. Roach kicking for Strange. And, oh, well, that one rocked Strange. Mia Wood doing really well with the take. It was a terrific take from Wood. Particularly because she would have been looking right into the sun then too, and it had a lot of hang time, that kick from Roach. Solid contact there on Koenig. A quick play the ball. Davis, they've stacked a short side here, the Roosters. Koenig, well read though by Clydesdale and Roach, that is a terrific kick straight out of the belly of the ball. Tamika Upton though, so well balanced at the back, takes it beautifully. She's unbelievable. 
was a wobbly kick. It was high. And absolutely no worries. Oh, no. Oh, oh Gallagher did it. Did it bubble? Yeah. Yep. Gone. An error. Um, where do you want it? Clock's on, scrum in the middle. So the Roosters with a scrum feed after this mistake from Sheridan Gallagher. No, she's just been good for them all day, and that stray hand there by a Roosters player, I think it was Pasakala, in affecting the tackle, raked at the footy and forced the error. But this field position, this would be worrying for the Knights because they need to make sure that their defence, their structure stays sound, they don't panic. Oh. Yeah, Callagher. Frizzard arriving just that little bit too late. Probably didn't see her anyway. He spots him Oh, risky pass. Joseph doing well in traffic. Westpac red zone. Just in favour of the Knights. So the Roosters will level it up here. Baxter. Baxter goes to Parker. Bridie Parker to... Taryn Aiken, now Hopawati. They've got numbers on the right here, the Roosters. Davis to Aiken. Gets a pass away, back to Davis. Maynard with the tackle. Aiken. Kelleher. Now Baxter. Koenig. Throws it out the back to Frezard. And she's going to be wrapped up on the last. Knights defence standing firm. Last play. Kelleher kicks. Tamika Rupton is and there. She's off. Hang yes. on. Look out. Oh. The sprint is on. Tamika Rupton. Isabel Here Brady. comes Isabel Kelly. Oh, wow. What a chase from one, Kelly. Two. Southwell. Dummy to Gallagher. Don't blink. You'll miss something. This game is just producing everything. So many momentum shifts. Roach. Clydesdale. Roach. Strange. She'll love this one. Scoring against her old club. Scoring against the side. Coached by her dad. Jasmine Strange is in for the Knights. Well, this was a wonderful try down that edge. It looked too easy at the end, but Tamika Upton set this up. This kick off the boot, I thought it was well placed by Kelleher. But again, the lack of panic by Upton at the back and the ability just to clap on the pace. The chase was up to it. I mean, it was Kelly, Bridie Parker. They were all converging on her. But just the field position, the speed that the ball was being played at and this work by Yazzie Clydesdale. Fantastic on this left edge. The Knights, they are on fire today. Oh, aren't they ever? I thought Georgia Roach did a really good job too. Just the way that she shaped this up, committed the defence. It sort of just set the standard for what to do next. Her back row up, Clydesdale was able to do it. And then Strange over. But that was all off the back of a really impressive defensive set on their line. The Roosters were throwing everything they could at them. They absorbed that pressure. As Rue mentioned, Tamika Upton cleans it up and gets him a bit of territory. The Knights are on fire at home. How does John Strange react to that? Oh, two ice creams <laughs> after dinner, darling. <laughs> Filthy for your team, happy for your daughter. Jesse Southwell. Head in from touch. And waved away.
Jasmine Strange with the try. 21 and a half minutes remaining. Kept that one nicely, Nita Maynard. As to Johnston. Quick play the ball as well. Maynard to Albert Jones. Down to you, Marley. Well, you asked the question, how did John Re Strange react to that, seeing his daughter score against his team? And I, my eyes were straight to him when she crossed the line. He had to turn away from it. I think he was hiding a little bit of a tough smirk there. And I saw him laughing, um, obviously struggling with the double-edged sword of this one. But I'm sure that'll be a little bit of bragging rights for Jazzy, having come across the line in this match. Absolutely. Oh, Corbin Baxter, knocked back, play on. Well, Alana, what are you looking at from a Roosters' point of view here to get them back in the contest and overturn this 10-point deficit? Well, they've done a very good job, the Knights, to suffocate them and through their defensive efforts. But there is a couple of things we haven't seen yet. We haven't seen Isabel Kelly really roaming and joining the back line. And so too Taryn Aiken. She's really been sticking to that left edge, trying to hold their attack out there. And, oh, they've lost it here. So I'd love to see Taryn Aiken moving both sides of the ruck just freeze up their attack a little bit, joining up with Kelleher when she can, and so too Isabel Kelly when they get anywhere over that halfway line. Now they've got defending to do again, the Roosters. 20 minutes remain. Johnston, Knights up by 10. And she nearly lost it there, did well to hold on to the ball. Could have easily popped out the back. Romanak to Upton, to Mika Upton, Keely Davis doing well. Now Roach goes to Clydesdale. Clydesdale, what a second half she's having. Joseph in the tackle, along with Frezard. Maynard, Romanak back to Southwell. Now Parker. Last play, the Knights. Maynard on the last. Oh, the intercept. What about the awareness from Keely Davis? Oh, beautiful defensive effort from Keely Davis. It started to open up for them, and that pass just needed to be a little bit shorter. They're threatening every time they get into this red zone, the Knights. They sure are. All the way, guys. That's a let off for the Roosters. And maybe another momentum swing in this encounter. Well, there's been a few of them. Koenig wrapped up by Clydesdale and Roach. It's a good battle on that edge, isn't it? Clydesdale, Koenig. Aiken kicking to Upton. Mika Upton passing to Jasmine Strange. Looks like there's a fair bit of fatigue in this Roosters side in particular. Just not their line speed certainly isn't as fast, but they're just taking one or two steps and waiting. Moving a little bit slower now. Hannah Southwell. Maynard to dummy half. Southwell inside to Johnston. Offload as well. Maynard missed it, picked it up. Now Southwell, quick hands. Lacey Elbert Jones. Parker, Gallagher. Gallagher for the corner. And well, she came back infield and is going to be wrapped up. She came back infield and looked straight, looked straight for a body to run it. Last play. Jesse Southwell. Oh, what about the bounce? Oh, it just trickles dead. It looked like it was going to go to Cessnock, that kick. Goodness me, the bounce of a rugby league ball. Well, the rest of the teammates thought the same thing. They didn't, they just stopped chasing. They weren't able to put enough pressure on them. But Jesse Southwell was pushing up. Seven now, tackle set, eh? 
Get ready for a women's double header tomorrow when the Cowboys take on the Raiders at 11.30 at Seabus Super Stadium on the Gold Coast. Following that match, we'll see the Titans do battle with the Eels at 1.30. Secure your seats today via Ticketek. Terrific afternoon of rugby league action on the coast tomorrow. Now Joseph. Davis the dummy half. Kelleher. Aiken inside the backstar. Corbin Baxter was forward. That was so close to such a good idea. Just under a little bit of pressure at the moment, the Roosters. That fatigue is certainly in the game. And that could have opened it right up, but... The referee, Casey Badger, she saw it straight away. It was definitely a forward pass from Taryn Aiken. Just over 15 minutes remaining. Still time for the Roosters. We know they've got the match winners in their team. Mind you, so do the Knights. Jesse Southwell's one of them. Tackle by Paulette. Maynard, Albert Jones, into Roosters territory they go. Hamilton, one of the Grace defenders. The With me. Go to Grace. Now Parker. That's, good. Yeah. That's, That's a, a run. strong run. Tear it out. Oh. It's clear. Oh. Higgins to Johnston. Hannah Southwell. Roach, Upton, Tamika Upton kicking for Jasmine Strange. It's a wonderful kick. And Jocelyn Keller boots it dead. Repeat set coming for the Knights. Well, once again, that's the class of Tamika Upton. The right play. She could have got overexcited then and overplayed her hand. But she just got on the inside of Jamie Frezard. Lovely weighted grubber kick. And the, build, the, the pressure keeps building. Johnston winding up, gets to the 20. The Knights are just winning all the contact at the moment. We have a look at the Westpac red zone. You can see why they're ahead in points. They've made the most of the opportunities they've had in this red zone. Southwell, Roach, and they drag it towards the Roosters line. It'll be a knock on. Right idea, execution was slightly off there by Roach. They're definitely opening them up. Just move across the time a bit for me. Thank you. I don't change positions if you want time off. Game clock off, shot clock still runs. All right, make sure we get our heads in. I'd like to see the Roosters get back to the way they started this half. Right, it's really down. physical, All right, kick pressure, right, getting in the face time of the Knights. Because at the moment, like I said, the Knights are winning this okay, physical battle. Release. Isabel Kelly tackled by Parker. Kelly to play it to Aiken. Oh, solid tackle. Carter in there for the Knights. Hamilton playing the ball 10 short of halfway. Slowish play the ball. Bill Moana on the halfway line. Davis. That pass is going to be dropped. Can they find Gallagher? No. They'll come back for the first mistake. Well, first knock on Roosters. No advantage. That's fatigue. That pass from Keely Davis. Scrums in the middle. They've been under a fair bit of pressure for a while. Chester would do a lot of work through the middle. And the reason that pass was wrong is she's just fatigued. Telstra is the proud naming rights partner of the NRL Telstra Women's Premiership. This is Footy Country. 
Knights in front by 10. Under 12 minutes left. Well, we just saw that possession stat and feel that in the way the game's rolling. 60% in this second half has been with the Knights. And it's been a lot off the back of this woman here that's about to play the ball. Tamika Upton has been phenomenal. Higgins out of dummy half. Hannah Southwell to Carter. The Roosters defence get Carter a metre away from the line. Now Johnston! Oh, yes. Caitlin Johnston for the line! Maddie, this is a no try. It'll be close. Confirm that Caitlin knocks on into the leg of the defender. Yeah, that's what it looked like. She punched through beautifully, didn't she? And it's this big right hand. She gets the arm out, but I think goes Keely Joseph's leg. Casey Badger was in the perfect position to hear that one too. Just looking to see if Caitlin Johnson maintains possession. All the Roosters players are making a tackle. Caitlin Johnson loses possession into the leg of the Roosters player. We have a decision. Matt Noyan in the bunker, backing up Casey Badger's original call. And it was over the line, so this will be a seven tackle set, will it? Yep, yep, certainly will be. A seven tackle set now from the 20 for the Roosters. Well, this is a really important period of the game. Right, time on. Just Wait over 10 kick. minutes to go. And the Roosters have not been under this kind of pressure for a very long time. Different sort of game for them. It'll be interesting to see how they handle this last period. Morris playing it for the Roosters. Joseph. Thought about the offload to Davis, took the tackle. And that'll be a penalty. They take a quick tap. A couple of the Knights players had their backs turned, but not everyone. Caitlin Johnston certainly didn't. Gallagher. She backs it up with another dominant tackle. in there for a third oh. time. Caitlin Johnston. Three tackles in a row. All of them with plenty of purpose. Aiken inside pass. Hamilton wrapped up. They're 11 away here, the Roosters. Davis. Hill Moana. Shrugs away from Carter. Last play. Which way do they go? Davis. Kelleher and the juggle and oh, away the offload. Oh, Kelleher, that'll be a try. Oh, That's a try. Koenig, the juggle, the offload. Kelleher with the try. Game on. Well, just before half time, we saw Koenig come up with a beautiful offload over the top to Corbin Baxter, who was going through. On this last tackle, I thought they've given it to her under heaps of scrutiny here. She's going to be finding it really difficult to try and even get this ball free. On the Harvey Norman replay, she gets it flat and she juggles it, but then she regathers and look at this for an offload. And Joss Keller reloaded, got herself into position. This is incredible. This is a good, a good angle to view it. She's quite clever in the way she turns her body too. Make sure that that pass goes backwards. But again, Keely Davis in the dummy half. I still don't think we speak about her enough. The job that she does, the work that she gets through, but her accuracy and decision making in and around that ruck, very classy. All right, Jocelyn Kelleher to make it a four point ball game. We're still waiting for yeah, confirmation on this. Uh oh. Try is under review. Looking for a knock on from the Roosters. The only time it could happen is when she gets the arm free and whether it comes off Georgia Roach or touches Georgia Roach. Olivia Kernak takes possession of the ball cleanly first go. As she's going to offload, she fumbles the ball. This hits a Newcastle mm. arm prior to her taking possession. We have a decision. It was the only question mark, that one. We won last night. We'll have a play the ball here. 
So it's still a 10 point lead Would to the Knights. Because it was a knock on in the field. Yeah. Now this will be I'll interesting to see how the Roosters handle this. Like we've spoken about, they haven't been under this much pressure since the Raiders game earlier in the year. Can they sink into their system and come up with the right options? Good start defensively. Oh, that's some stinging defense on Jasmine Strange. Nine and a half remaining. Good run. Not for the first time this half from Yasmin Clydesdale. Johnston will land the tackle along with Hamilton and Davis. Kicky from inside the 40, looking, well, I was about to say, looking for a 40 30, but drilled it straight down the middle of the ground and Baxter. Good kick return, a metre sort of halfway, Corbin Baxter. Yeah, she kicked it on the fourth then, Jesse Southwell, would have loved to have found some grass. The Roosters just over that halfway mark. There's no push at the moment for the Roosters, they're just hanging on. Joseph to Kelleher, flat pass, oh, oh good tackle, Anna Southwell again. Wasn't she our strong moment of the first half? She came up with some great tackles then. Oh, an there's a knock here. on. Olivia Koenig with the mistake. That's all the non-players from the Knights. Look at them just loving it. They would be enjoying it. They're off the pace. They're tired. The support just isn't there, but they are off the pace. You have to put a lot of that down to the energy that the Knights have brought today as well. Absolutely. They're playing fast, they're winning the contact, their play the balls have been slick. Clydesdale. Still time for the Roosters. They need to make something happen very quickly. They need the ball as well. Carter tackled on the halfway line. Johnston running with the same energy in the 63rd minute of what she was in the third. Jesse Southwell. Oh, good run. Still going. They didn't hold her. Jesse Southwell. Oh, stop it. Oh, my gosh. How about that? Talk about staying alive, Jesse Southwell. <laughs> wow, well, she has just won this game for the Newcastle Knights at home. What a huge play by Jesse Southwell. When we get to see this replay of the Harvey Norman, footy in two hands. Now, that's her signature, t that's her signature play. Takes the ball to the line. She's got a stepping game in there, but just watch her feet. She never stops moving through that contact. And I tell you what, pretty classy stuff. I'm going to take it off the right. I'm going to go bounce off my left just for those final touches. But you, you look at that, the footy in two hands, everything sells that pass. And once the first defender drops off and it's just Taryn Aiken by herself, it's the determination and leg drive that breaks through that tackle. And then, see ya. Nope. <laughs> Tell you what, if we get a high shot of that, you'll see exactly what Jesse saw. See there, right there, bang, there's a triangle of players. There's two people up and one person back. So that means the line is fractured. That's what she tries to exploit. And then all she does is keep her legs moving and stays alive. She is a competitor, Jesse Southwell. You know she won't go to ground easy. And she just showed that tenacious spirit. And look at her, doesn't she love it? <laughs> you reckon she's happy or oh. what? Her and the home crowd both. Haven't we seen some great tries today from the Knights? Jesse Southwell converts. The Knights in full control now. The Panthers are in the house. They're at home for their qualifying final against the Warriors. 
Won't this be a clash? Coverage coming up straight after this match. Qualifying final action in the NRL. On Nine's Wide World of Sports. Don't forget elimination final tonight from 7 o'clock. Sharks v Roosters in the NRL. You can stream every NRL and NRLW match on Nine now as well. Well, she took it, yeah, Lacey Albert jones and then put a foot down. Should have been the other way around. Uh, if she just put that right foot out first, mm. that's a penalty at halfway for the Knights. Yeah, so it's a play the ball. Planted a foot about a second and a half too late. Lacey Albert jones Confirmation of it. Roosters with an opportunity for the immediate hit back. Koenig, taken by Clydesdale and Roach. Backstop. Kelleher, Joseph. Wrapped up, 12 away. Davis, Aiken. And the juggle, put down, knock on. Yeah, there was an earlier knock on. Mm. I think they're going to challenge it, are they? Oh, it looks like there's some concern for uh, Maddie, Isabel Kelly in back play. From Newcastle on the decision of knock on Newcastle. It's the pass here. Just looking to see if there's any touch here. There is no touch by Newcastle. That, the Newcastle arm goes onto the arm of Taran Aitken, mm. playing on at this stage. Uh, Isabel Kelly. The right hand of LeShawn plays at the footy. Just looking to see if there's a knock-on by Newcastle on this play or if the Roosters have possession of the ball. All right. Close examination mm. this play. I thought in this contest here, the right hand of LeShawn Albert Jones as Isabel Kelly juggles it, flicked up at the footy. But it's sort of off screen. We can't really see it clearly. Hopefully the bunker has a better view than we do. The Roosters players takes possession of the ball. The Newcastle players making a tackle. There's no knock on by Newcastle at this stage. I think there will be coming up from Jesse right. Southwell. Ball goes backwards off the Romanuk knocks it on. Or Romanuk. And then at the end, the ball is knocked on by Newcastle, by yep. Jesse Southwell. Taylor, and then There's a knock on in the end. Uh, challenge. The challenge by Newcastle is unsuccessful. Not all white headgears are the same, no. Salty. Yeah, we <laughs> well, two of them are Southwell. Taylor will take that. She'll take that. Yeah. Two of them are Southwell. <laughs> One of them's Romanuk. <laughs> Can we send some multicoloured headgear to Easy the mistake. Newcastle, please? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we can get them to paint their numbers on the top or the side or something. Uh, That's not a bad idea either. Hey? I'll tell you when, Tara. Could be a business in that. Right, heads down for us. Okay. Head in, Janice. Okay, feed it. Time on, break. All right, back underway. Kelleher. Now, Baxter. Woo! Wrapped up a couple of metres away from the line. Morris to Kelleher, Il Moana. Stands, plays the ball, Davis. Now Koenig, Baxter, that's gone forward to Morris. That's a great defensive play from Jasmine Strange. She identified what they were doing, read it brilliantly, but to be there and to stop that from happening, she nailed her job.
Might have copped a little whack, but it was well worth it. She scored a try and she saved a couple already today, Jasmine Strange. Actually, the whole I've been impressed with the entire defensive effort from the Knights, particularly this second half. In break. Just want to clarify too. That's Lily Rogan uh, on the field in jersey 14 on the far side for the Roosters at 19 years of age. Milton Aladala Jr. Playing on the white ring, right wing for the Roosters. Got away with one there, the Knights. Whoops. That play didn't go to plan. Joseph playing the ball to Davis. Two and a half minutes left. Davis. Now Aiken in. Side pass. Joseph doing really well to take that one in traffic. Romanak was one of the defenders. Davis running on that one. Hill Moana standing in a way as Caitlin Johnston and the Earth shook. Good. Aiken. And the grabber kick couldn't reach the in goal area. And a penalty too. Shot, is it? Yep. Taken high. Penalty Knights. Another fantastic defensive set on their own goal line. You gotta hold up. Here by the Knights. A good trap and scrap again, or attempted trap. And Shanice Parker picked that up so cleanly, and that's where the penalty comes from. It's Brady Parker that slipped up over the ball there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ninety seconds left. Clydesdale playing the ball. What a terrific second half by the Newcastle Knights. What a terrific game overall. So we'll see the impact that's missing with Millie Boyle being out for the Roosters. Roach to Roach. This is Abigail Roach after getting the pass from Georgia. Southwell. Good take from Baxter. Hasn't stopped trying all afternoon. The Roosters number one. Lily Rogan on her own 20. Frezard. Sakala. This could well be the last play of the game. And the siren sounds. That is full time. And if you thought that this NRLW season was a one horse race, then think again. The Knights are here to defend their title. Full time at McDonald Jones Stadium and the Knights have prevailed over the Roosters in an enthralling top of the table clash, 20 points to four.